I've seen this um, come up, this topic a number of times where people are trying to add a like run stitch outline to text. And so you see on the screen right here, I have the word outline. It is a keyboard lettering inside of the Floriani software. Um, it's not it's not all that difficult. It used to be a difficult process, but because um, we can convert to artwork and we can weld things together, it's become much easier. But there are still times where you will run into a couple issues that you have to tweak. So I'm just gonna go through that really quick and show you how to go about outlining um, keyboard lettering inside of Floriani FTCU software. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it and paste it and I'm going to change the color of it. So um, basically what I have is two of the same thing, um, out the word outline in embroidery stitches. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm selecting the red one or the second one that I just made and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say convert to artwork. And when I convert this to artwork, you're going to see the red outline around this design. And what I'm going to do is hide the the blue just so we can see and work with this outline first instead of moving it out of the way and then having to line it back up it's just easier to go about it this way so if I come down here you can see that I have all these letters now the thing that I'm gonna have to do is I'm not gonna want a run stitch that goes across on this letter T I'm not gonna want a run stitch in here there's also this little area um, so what I need to do is select any letter that is made up of more than one object so the O, the U are fine, the L is fine, and the I are fine. Um, but the letter T, the N, and the E um, have that extra line or it shows two objects. So notice that when I have this selected, um, I can come up here and you see this break apart icon. It's available. Um, I want to break this into two pieces. Um, it's combined right now, so I'll hit that break apart and now I have two separate objects. So the challenge here is whenever you're going to weld something, make turn two into one and get rid of the line that's like kind of the intersecting line, you really need to make sure that one fully goes into the other. So I just selected it, let me undo, just uh, selected it and I just, drug it up. Now I can come in here and I can select the shape edit tool and I could just drag these up as well like so. Right click and um, I need to make sure there's overlap. That's very important when you're doing this. So I'm gonna select both of these now and I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna click on the weld icon and that's going to turn it into one piece and notice how that doesn't have that line there anymore that's exactly what we want so now I selected this I need to break it apart so I'm going to click the break apart icon and now I'm going to end up having three different objects I'm going to select all of them and click weld and you can see now it's all one letter so this one right here is going to be a little bit more of a challenge because it is one object but um, it's not kind of combined together. So the way that I would approach a letter like this, the easiest thing in my mind is to go to the edit and I'm gonna right click on this point right here and I'm gonna say split line and then I'm going to click on this icon and split the line. And what I'm doing is turning this one shape into two. And I need to get back into the regular selection mode because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm selecting this piece and I'm going to do close shape. So I'm going to move this out of the way really quick so you can see that it closed it up. But you can see I still have another object there. I'm going to select this piece now and I'm going to close it. And notice that it did something kind of funky right here. I'm going to go to the, my shape edit and I'm going to convert these two pieces to a line. And that, that is pretty important to do. Um, and then I'm going to select this node and I'm going to drag it in like so. 
and um, make sure this one is a line here and let me zoom back out and so this piece is kind of touching as well to this line so I'm gonna drag it in all I'm doing is making sure that there's overlap between the two objects and then I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna weld it and you can see that that fixed the issue so this is really good right now because now I can select all of this red and convert it to a running stitch and put in 3d view so you can see that I just converted it to a run stitch and that's what um, I wanted to do now we're not done yet I'm turning on the previous um, word outline that's in the satin stitches and um, just so you can see it the reason that we're not done yet is because the run stitch is going right along the edge of the satin and we don't want that we need to have some overlap for compensation and if I just come in to the text right now and I go to compensation and I try to add point uh, three and an absolute value for pull and I try to do that the same by millimeters for push and I hit apply um, you'll notice that for some reason right now there's a little issue going on in the software because it added pull compensation but it did not add for the push it didn't back the stitches up for push compensation uh, we need these stitches to not the blue not to go all the way to the edge we need 0.3 on each side but we also need this to come down 0.3 the stitches are going left to right it's gonna push up so we need to back those up so that um, it doesn't push out past the run stitch outline so because it didn't work um, I'm gonna hit undo here go back to original and I I just know that this works if I right click on it and I break up the text and now it's out of text and now it's just like uh, satin paths now if I come in to the push and pull and I add a point three and I come to the millimeters here and add a point three and I hit apply you'll notice that it now backed those stitches up so um, that was just a little fix so this blue is now below the red because these stitches are going this way and they'll push up um, it'll meet that red line and because of pull that takes place as the stitches are going this way it's going to shrink in so what I'm doing is making sure that the outline matches up with the satin stitch letters and that's how you do it um, is you need to add 0.3 millimeters of push and pull compensation to each side of the satin so you just want to break up the text so that they're in satin paths and come up to the push and pull and adjust that and I will make sure that I'm at a 0.4 density and that's how you create a run stitch outline around text that's the easiest way that I found to do it so that I don't have to manually kind of digitize anything it's just uh, tweaking the artwork a little bit and then um, breaking up text a little bit so it's not very difficult to do and I hope this video helps